the ignition sequence, 20 engines are lit at once. The ignition sequence is in three stages. Part of it is a sequence from minus 17 seconds down to minus 6 seconds, during which the engines are tested. There are the arms rolling away. That's one of the final moments. At minus 15 seconds is the first controlled ignition. At minus 7 seconds is another one at about half pressure. And then at minus 3 seconds, the order is given for the third and final phase. There's the gantry arms going. À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, top, décollage. Soya is lifting off beautifully from French Guiana, beginning her 1,813th mission and her sixth from her new home here. Fine shots, always impressive, no matter how many times you see Soyuz powering into the sky over French Guiana. Now you know it's been raining all week here, but the sky's cleared for the liftoff just this afternoon, giving us a fine view of things, as you can see. We're heading east, all out over the Atlantic, all is uh, perfectly, is perfect on board, Amy Sipi is saying. 313 tons at liftoff, that's less than half the mass of the Ariane 5. Remember, Soyuz is complementary, not a competitor to Ariane 5. She's lifting one satellite, a payload weighing two tons. Ariane 5 can lift 10 tons. The boosters and the second stage are burning now. The boosters, there are four boosters, they make up the first stage. The boosters weigh 45 tons each. Total mass 178 tons. The second or the core stage is similar to the boosters. Its ignition occurred on the launch pad, as you saw. All is normal on board, the DDO is saying. We're coming up on separation of the boosters. That's uh, something you'll probably be able to see because the visibility is so good. And you'll hear Amy Sip call out, that looks like the separation. See the four boosters, the four points of light? falling away from the main point of light, which continues to burn, which is the second stage. And the DDO has called out confirmation of the booster separation. Everything functioning beautifully. You can see the boosters twinkling on the left-hand side of the vapor trail there as uh, Soyuz continues her journey eastward across the Atlantic. The boosters will fall back into the Atlantic. Coming up on separation of the fairing in about a minute, that's the next uh, milestone. You're watching the final Ariane space mission of the year. It's the 40th payload for ESA launched by Ariane space and the 25th satellite dedicated to science and the study of the universe. The third Ariane space launch for ESA this year we launched one each of the Ariane family, Proba 5 on Vega in May, ATV 5 on Ariane in June, and tonight. And Timo is back. You are grinning from ear to ear. How was it out there? I hope I can speak. It is such an emotional moment. Really? <laughs> Seven years working on the project, and you finally see her leaving the Earth? Yeah, and it was like uh, rising the sun, and you get first a light. And then you see the separation of the of the boosters. You saw separation of the boosters and because we saw it here on the screen. It was very clear. And it was yeah. also visible from the balcony. And, and they were twinkling normal. like uh, small stars. <laughs> it was impressive. And uh, the noise? The noise was coming later because we are, of course, uh, quite a distance uh, away from the... Yeah, you get the delay. You get the delay. So, 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 so what impressed you the most? It was the light, I guess. Huh? I think it's the light and also the speed. The speed, how it goes, crosses the sky, and luckily we had clear skies. It was a beautiful moment.